What up everybody, how's it going? Matt Tweets here. I am in front of the museum and so you know what that means. It is time for another unboxing. Today, we are unboxing the V26 Kendamas. Now this series is unlike any other. Well, kind of like one other. And we're gonna get to that in just one second. But here they are. The Damas in full effect right in front of you. Three new bad boys dropping this week. Now the special thing about these is that we did not design them. What? Yeah, you heard me, we didn't design these. These were designed by you. If you remember back in the day, about two years ago, we had a contest called Design a Prime. It's where we let you, the fans, design your own kendamas and then we would produce them. We already did that one time and made these three damas right here. Now, we wanna do it again. Before we only used to paint in our shop, so we had limited capabilities as to what we could actually pull off. When we started going through the old Design of Prime folders and looking at all the cool stuff you created, we were like, we could do this now with our factory overseas. So we decided to pick three from the original Design of Prime and remake them to start over the Community Kendama series. So what we want to do is to bring this back. We want to bring back you designing Kendamas. And that is where this all starts and where it all comes from. So we have these three that we are releasing at the V26. These artists are very excited to have their damas be made, but you will have a chance sometime next year. The contest isn't starting just yet, so don't get too excited, but we're bringing it back, and this is the introduction to let you know that the Community Kendama series is coming back and you will have a chance to design your own. But let's get into these damas real quick because I wanna see what these creators made. So let's start with the first one. This one is arguably my favorite, okay? This is supposed to be the Northern Light. So let's make sure we look at the stickers first that come in the box. You always get that extra string in every Sweets Kendamas package, so you always got that string and bead. And then you get your extra string, or your extra sticker pack, excuse me, which has the three damas on it, and it has the names, the instas, very cool. So something cool just to hang on to when you get your V series dama. So now this first one. Okay, so this one I really, really love the colors of it. The green and the blue just work together so very well. And it reminds me of the Seattle, Seattle Seahawks. So if you're a Seattle Seahawks fan, this may be the dama for you. It's got really good tracking. It's got the top dot and bottom white tracking hole with the white tracking around the middle. Um, it's it, The color is supposed to be Northern Lights. If you've never seen it, Google Northern Lights. It's one of the most beautiful phenomenons that happen around here during the winter time. Um, and it happens all around the world, so you can check it out. But this Dama is meant to rep, uh, represent that. So um, I think he did a really good job, and it's why we chose it, because we can't paint this downstairs. We had to use uh, machines and things overseas to be able to make it happen. So um, shout out Pope182, Paul Vicente, thank you very much. And with this QR code, you're gonna be able to find more information about upcoming contests. When we start to redo the Community Kendama contest and allow you to design your own, this is where you'll be able to find all that info. So make sure you check it out. All right, next Dama. Next Dama is from one of my favorite Kendama artists. Uh, she is all the way from Japan. And she calls this Dama the textile space. Again, same sticker pack comes in it, so I'm not gonna reshow the stickers. But her style of, her style is so unique compared to everything else that we saw. Um, lots of random symmetry, lots of like very cool textiles and, and, and designs. So this one really just shows off her personality, I think. We really love the colorway of this one. The orange string makes it pop super hard. Again, Masako Dama Art at is on the bottom and then Masako Hosoi is on the other one. So I really love that we shouted out the creator because this isn't a pro mod, but if you're not a professional canal player, this is about as close as you're gonna get to having your Dama made by Sweet. So I really love this one. I really love the colorway. And again, the QR code is to send you to that info that you need. And look at right here, this cup, I haven't showed it off yet. But the Community Kendama series designed by players. So our goal is to do this as often as we possibly can to allow you to help us create some really cool designs, things that you would never ever see uh, otherwise. So. Thank you very much, Masako. And if you haven't followed her, please do, because there's always amazing content posted on that channel. All right, last but not least, we have the 90s banger. What did we call it? It's not the 90s banger. It's the fresh 90s. And I'm looking at the back because that's where the name is, okay, guys? I'm not perfect. 
I don't have the ultimate memory of an elephant, okay? But we, we do remember that this one is called the Fresh 90s. It reminds me of Nickelodeon. It reminds me of all those starter jackets, all of those windbreakers. Like if there's a 90s colorway, this is it. And so we really liked it for that compared to the other two, which are more nature, a little bit more, uh, you know, like muted colors. This one was poppy and we really liked this one. Also, we don't do much with pink. So we really wanted to get that nice pink hit um, into the yellow and then the blue on top, which is super unique. Um, this homie is from Germany and it is at Creative Bureau Merzig. See, I have to read it because that is just too hard for me to remember. Uh, David Mansion. So thank you very much for designing this, David. So we have a Maple Ken on this one and we have Cherry Thomas. Now the standard for V's moving forward is gonna be Maple Ken and Cherry Thomas. We believe it gets us the best weight ratio for when we make a huge series of Kendamas. With Beach and Maple, sometimes the Tama and Ken are really off weight. We feel Cherry gets us closest more often than not. Uh, this is not saying that your Dama may be off a few grams. Uh, but in our experience, Cherry has been the best, so that's what we are sticking with now for the Vs. So yeah, shout out the fresh 90s Dama. And here we go, everybody, the V26, the next V series in a line that just won't stop going on. We just keep doing it, keep coming with the fire. Thanks as always again for watching these videos. I'm super stoked on the V26 and what they represent. I'm excited to see what ideas you all have for future kendamas. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next unboxing. Later. What up everybody? Thanks for checking out that video. If you like what you just watched, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and make sure you go punch that shop button and get yourself a new Dama. We have tons of other videos for you to watch, so make sure you go check them out. See you next time.